I'm like the dog version of Gordon Ramsay, but not quite as handsome or rich or good looking or, mm, no, I'm just kidding. And they're just like, ooh yeah, please tell me that's for me. Ugh. She wore an apron. Hello and welcome to another episode with the Tron Dog Whisperer. In today's video, we're going to be making our own raw food diet as an example of what you can do at home. And if you have the ambition and the time and the desire to make your own raw food for your dog, this is going to be a quick example of how to do it. By far, the easiest solution if you want to feed your dog raw food is just to go buy it and purchase it from somebody who makes the raw food. But uh, what I'm gonna be showing you today is the raw food diet and how to make um, a simple recipe at home. So let's get to it. First things first, I wanna make sure that I tell everybody very clear right from the get-go, I am not a subject matter expert on dog nutrition or raw food or anything like that. The, this is just a demonstration of what you can do at home if you have the desire to make your own raw food for your dog and then just go to the grocery store and go from there. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna give you uh, an idea of the equipment that you're gonna need. Uh, I try to keep this as simple and as straightforward as possible. Things that you would probably already have at home. Nothing fancy here. This is for the average dog lover, not like an aficionado of, of raw food or anything. If you want to purchase equipment later on to help you if you decide to do it great but if you want to just try it out for a week or two or a month this uh, basic setup should get you through it so what do we have here just some like basic containers some stainless steel bowls i have a, a scale here for weighing different portions and stuff like that i have some ziploc bags some cling film Obviously, you're gonna need a knife, uh, I have a pair of scissors, cutting board, uh, some rubber gloves if you get a little bit squeamish or don't want to really touch too much raw food, especially raw chicken, so this might be an option. I don't think I'm gonna go with these, but I might. And this bad boy, which is a blender. Now, you can use a blender, you can use a food processor if you have one at home. I just happen to have a blender, and a lot of people have a blender at home versus a food processor, or maybe they don't, I don't know. Before you go to the grocery store to get all your lovely ingredients for your dog's raw food diet, um, you're gonna want to start out with a target for how much you're gonna feed your dog. That's gonna vary greatly from dog to dog. Every dog is different. The thing I would suggest is, is with any type of dietary change that you're gonna make with your dog, make sure you consult uh, your veterinarian or a dog nutritionist to see what is appropriate for your dog. If your dog is super young or super old or has any dietary uh, restrictions or health issues, those are all going to change how much you feed your dog. But for the demonstration purposes today, we're just gonna use 2%. I'm gonna use my old man Mosley as an example because he is a medium sized 50 pound dog and it works out to a pound a day roughly he is a senior dog so you could scale it back a tiny bit but we're going to use that as a basis so um, we're looking at approximately seven pounds of food now why did i choose a week well the the reason why i chose to do a week's worth of raw food obviously you can do a lot more or you can do less is basically I don't have a lot of freezer space. So one of the most common challenges when it comes to raw food in a small urban environment like mine is space. So I only have one single fridge. I don't have a deep freezer or anything like that. And let's face it, if you're a single person or you're a young couple who has a dog, you live in a condo in an urban area and you wanna feed your dog a raw food diet, this is a practical issue that does make it a little bit more challenging. 
So a lot of raw food companies, you can actually get them to deliver raw food. And so that's one solution to the storage thing. But what I'm going to be showing you today is how to make your own. So when you make your own, you need a lot more storage space because you have the basic raw ingredients and then you make the food and then you have to store the food. So a week works out just about perfectly for me. Before you start going and getting your, your meats, it's important to understand what you need and how much your dog is going to eat. Every dog is different and there's a lot of variables in terms of how much you're going to feed your dog, your age, activity level, health, a whole bunch of stuff. But if you use a basic starting point, then you can always tweak it from there. So I'm using Mosley. He's a 50 pound dog that works out to one pound of raw food per day. So over a span of a week, that works out to seven pounds. So I'm going to be making about seven pounds. Maybe I'll make a batch for Mackenzie as well. She's my second dog and uh, we'll see. We'll go from there. But the basic components of almost every single raw food diet that you're going to find, regardless of whether it's the prey, the basic raw food that you get commercially or uh, the barf diet is pretty much the, the, the foundations are all the same. There are three main components to pretty much every single raw food diet that consists of a base protein, which is pretty much any type of muscle meat, bone and organ meat. Those are pretty much the three basics. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the base foundation, the muscle meat that I chose. So I have some ground beef. I have some fish in the form of horse mackerel. I have some chicken breasts and some chicken thighs as well. Um, if you're going to get a lot of poultry, which is the most economical type of meat that you can get for a raw food diet, I would definitely recommend getting both dark meat and white meat, not just one or the other, uh, because variety is important. So what else do we have? We have the bone component, which is going to be comprised primarily of these chicken bones because chicken bones are really easy. There's a ton of different varieties of foundation meats out there that you can get. Those aren't hard. The things that are a little bit more difficult to get your hands on are the bone and the um, organ meat. So organ meat can, can be a lot of different things. I happen to get liver, chicken hearts, and gizzards, which is basically the stomach. But there's a lot of different varieties of organ meat that you can get out there. Um, I suggest you just get your hands on whatever it is available. The chicken poultry products are pretty easy to get. When it comes to the bone in portion of your raw food diet, chicken is by far the easiest to get a hold of. Um, whether you're getting chicken wings, uh, which have a lot of bone, it's about 40% bone in a chicken wing, or you get the carcasses from your butcher, which are really economical. These are great because you can grind them, you can throw them into your blender or food processor, and you don't have to have any type of fancy grinder to do that. Um, there's also gonna be a bit of bone in the fish because these are whole fish. The other type of bone that you can use or get are meaty bones, and these are pretty much uh, called soup bones, joint bones, any type of, of rib bones are good. Um, these are a little bit harder to find, but they're pretty economical if you can get them. And I'm going to show you how I put this together in a couple different ways. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first method I'm going to show you is kind of like an all-in-one where you prepare all the different components of your raw food diet into one type of mash or, or mince or whatever you want to call it. And then you're just using that as your raw food diet. And it's got your base meat, it's got your bone, it's got your organs and whatever else you want to put in there. And it's pretty much, you take it out of the package uh, after you've packaged it up and you feed it to your dog and away you go. And this is going to require a little bit of processing and we're going to use a blender and basically the least amount of processing that you do to your raw food the better so we have a lot of easy stuff in terms of the base meat we have ground beef we don't have to do 
anything to that. If you are gonna get ground meat, make sure you get the leanest ground meat that you can get. But we're gonna use um, some chicken to start off with and some of the organs and, and make like a basic raw food mixture, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is get some stuff into the blender. And this is gonna be pretty straightforward. What I have here are some chicken thighs and what I'm gonna do is just take the skin off because there's a lot of fat in the skin that we don't necessarily want for our dogs, right? So I'm gonna put that with the bone in there. You can see there's only one bone, but we're gonna use this as our base. And I'm just gonna put that in there. And I'm gonna use a few of these. And just take that off. If you're squeamish, if you're a vegetarian, uh, this maybe isn't the best thing for you to do. However, it is really good to know exactly what is going into your dog's food. It's, it's pretty much the ideal scenario. And one of the things that I really like about this concept is that you are doing something for your dog that's very primal. So if you think back to when you were a kid, before you really understood what love or affection was, having somebody make you a meal is really one of the most basic forms of showing affection. So I have a few chicken thighs in there and now I'm going to use, th that is gonna be primarily the, the muscle meat portion. And this is going to give us the rest of our muscle meat and it's also gonna give us the, the other really important component, which is the bone. Chicken bones are really easy to um, chop up and to grind. And I'm just going to break this up with my hands because I'm a badass. Uh, but you can use whatever, whatever you like. If you can get your hands on chicken necks, those have a lot of good bone in them as well. And there we go. That's a chicken neck. Okay, so there's a lot of good bone. And when I did my research, the thing that I struggled with the most is how to get enough bone into the raw food diet. And that's really where I got uh, stumped. So we're gonna put that in as well. This is the back part. We're gonna take some of this excess fat off because we don't want too much fat. A little bit of fat I think is fine, but again, you don't want to put too much fat in there, but some fat is good. So I'm going to put that in there. Whew, yeah, it's getting good. Uh, we're going to take that skin off as well. So what else do we have? Well, we've taken care of our uh, meat in terms of the muscle meat. Now we're going to actually put in some of the organ meat. Now liver is really, really good uh, organ meat to use. but you don't want too much liver making up your your organ meat so we're going to use a bit of that and i did weigh the approximate portions out before so we have our liver we have our base meat we have our bones now we're looking to do some more organs. And again, variety is good in terms of the research that I did. If you guys have any tips and you've done this kind of stuff before, please put some comments below. Help me out, like give me some better ideas in terms of what to do. Now these little guys are chicken hearts and they're pretty uh, easy to find if you go to your butchers and you can either Put these in for your organs or you can use these just as like treats like you can literally just give your dog one of these the important thing is when you're feeding your dog raw to stay raw so everything should be raw as much as possible so some hearts uh, go into there okay so we got the hearts we got the liver we got the bone what else do we got? 
And now these are gizzards. Put a bit of that, boom. And so that is gonna be pretty much a very basic raw food recipe. And we're just gonna blitz it to crush up the bone and to combine everything. But before I do, I'm gonna add some supplements in the form of sardines. Okay, so with chicken uh, or any type of poultry products, it's a good idea to include some omega-3. This is in supplement form. You can get this from Walmart or whatever. But what I'm gonna do instead of that is use sardines. And these are just uh, basic sardines packaged in water, not mustard or anything. And they're going to add a bit of, whoops, so I'm just gonna add all this. It stinks a little bit, but that's okay. Dogs love stinky stuff. So, boom, there you go, the whole can. This is definitely a messy job. If you have somebody that can help you out, that's ideal. And put uh, some of the blood that ran off from defrosting in there, like that. I'm like the dog version of Gordon Ramsay, but not quite as handsome or rich or good looking or eloquent or whatever. All right, so we got pretty much everything in there for our basic raw food recipe. And I just have to figure out how to put this on. Bada bang. And we're just gonna blitz it or pulse it or whatever you wanna call it. Fingers crossed. Let's take a look, maybe a couple more. All right, that looks good. Well, it's gonna look good to the dogs. It, it, it might not look that good to you or I. Mmm. <laughs> okay, there you go. There's a shot of what it looks like. So what we're gonna do now is just take this out. And this is pretty much done. I am gonna show you something else that I forgot to add, which is eggs. So last but not least, we're gonna put a couple eggs in there just to add some calcium and some really nice protein for the dogs. And we're gonna add the whole eggs. Make sure you wash these really well. Dogs love it, ready? Ooh, ah, there we go. So we just put the lid on. And we blitz. Lovely. Ooh, let me tell you something. Uh, the dogs are gonna love this, but uh, for me personally, it kinda, it's a little gross. I'm not gonna lie, it stinks a little. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is weigh what we got. I did weigh all these portions ahead of time just to make things a little bit quicker. But now that we have it done, that's pretty much it. Mmm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, that's nasty. The dogs are like licking their lips, literally. Like, uh, I got Mosley, Mackenzie, and they're just like, ooh, yeah. Please tell me that's for me. All right. So this is pretty much a basic raw food recipe that you can do at home pretty quickly um, and relatively easily. And it's still pretty chunky monkey. Do you want to lick the spoon, babe? No, just kidding. 
that's not a good idea. Okay, so we got about 1.2 kilograms, which is about three pounds. So that's right there, about three portions or servings for your dog. You can use some cling film to separate out the meals, throw them in the fridge, and that's it. So we're looking for approximately half a pound because I feed mostly twice a day. So if I do half a pound of this, Okay, I'm not, so that's about half a pound. And we're just gonna wrap it up. Bish, bash, bosh. Boom. There is one portion, so I'd give Mosley two of these a day. That's got everything in it already. It's got eggshells, it's got sardines, it's got chicken, it's got bone liver, heart, lots of good stuff. You can see there's still some pretty big chunks in there, but nothing too big. It's pretty processed. So I'm going to go ahead and portion this out. And while I'm doing this, I'll give you a little bit of idea about the costs because cost is usually one of the drawbacks to raw food. And if you're going to make it at home, it's going to be even more expensive than if you get it from a commercial raw food provider. However, you know exactly what goes into your dog's diet. You don't have to worry about how processed it is or what kind of meat they're using. And to be frank, if, if you have a little bit of spare time, and you really, really care about your dog and you are in a financial position to do it, I'd say go for it, give it a shot. It's not gonna hurt. I mean, Mosley is turning 12 in a couple weeks. So this is his birthday gift, is to go on raw food for a week and just to see how he does. He's already super healthy, he's 12 years old. He's very active and stuff like that. So I'm not concerned. He doesn't have any health issues. Uh, the vet says he's in fantastic shape for a 12 year old or for any dog really. But um, he is getting a little bit older. I mean, well, 12 is more than a little bit old. Ugh. Should have worn an apron. I did a podcast with a dog nutritionist a little while ago. If you want a lot more really good information about dog nutrition, definitely check it out. One of the ideas that came out of it was, hey, look, is this feasible? Is this something that the average person can do at home? And I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's try it. If I can do it, pretty much anybody can do it because I have literally no idea what I'm doing. So what you guys are seeing is the first time that I tried it. I did a really quick dry run last night when I was prepping for uh, filming today. But other than that, I've never done this before. It's, I've always seen raw food packaged in um, large boxes that look like basically hamburger patties. So we got one, two, three, four days worth of, of raw food out of that quick little thing that I just made. So there you go. Just in that, you know, five, 10 minutes, it took me to put that stuff together. We got one, two, three, four days worth of food for Mosley, all ready to go. Don't need to add anything into it. It's all ground in there. You can eat it and away you go. And this is uh, the basic, 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 raw food recipe that I, that I want to show you. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I really enjoyed making this video. If you liked it, hit that big thumbs up. Give me a like, it really does help. Every little bit helps. 
make a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any recommendations for other raw food dog recipes, let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, if you love your dog, take them for a walk. Till next time, take care. In three, two, one. I can't do this. Take 75? I don't know. It's taking a lot longer than I thought. Blah. You cut. Damn it. Take 10 million. Damn it. Okay, uh, this is like take 100. Cut. A little, a little. Do it, 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 do